thousand plus Tailwind members, and um, we looked at what was pinned last July that got a lot of reach. So that answers the question what you should be thinking about pinning in this July. And then we've pinned the most successful of those to 11 boards that we maintain uh, on the Tailwind uh, Pinterest account. And those are um, in the, the top 11 categories that we see uh, our members engage with. Um, and today we're going to kind of talk about that. So uh, you've got me, uh, David Christopher, the Director of Marketing here. Uh, and you also have... You have me, Elisa Meredith, Content Marketing Manager at Tailwind. Yes, uh, and we also have Manning the Comet. We have Kev. Um, hey, Kev. Uh, uh, so he's going to be kind of answering your questions um, live and uh, interacting, and also just kind of bringing those questions um, to us to answer. So if you have any questions uh, about what you should be doing in July, the trends that we've seen as we kind of look through that data, um, then go ahead and ask. If you have any questions more broadly um, about, you know, um, what you should be doing when, then go ahead and ask. And if you have any questions even more broadly about how to do Pinterest Live, um, then uh, go ahead and ask. So we'd love your questions. Yeah. Um, so the boards that we're going to be going through today, probably not all of them, but the ones that we found most interesting this time are DIY and craft, education, food and drink, um, holiday events, travel, those. And uh, Kevin will also drop in a link to the blog post where we cover all of this that has a link for each of these 10 boards that we maintain. And you can look back in time, and we'll be kind of doing that here on the, in a minute. You can look back in time from the from each pin when we when we pin what to pin in, uh, all the way back to October. You can see um, how those boards change, how those categories change um, as time elapses. Um, and it gives you a really good feel for, you know, the, the annual cycle of those, um, those kinds of categories. Yes, and I, I also want to apologize for my clumsy handling of the broadcast today. This is my first time doing it with two different screens going in the OBS, but I hope you'll bear with me here. And yeah, I've got some good stuff to share. Yes, Melissa is out traveling across she Europe, is. and we'll learn later that uh, European travel right now on Pinterest uh, is a great time in July to, to pin about that. Um, uh, volume up uh, is uh, is a request. Um, so All right. who's that? Who's that uh, for? All everybody? Mm, okay, I mean, uh, I've turned it up. Volume, my volume. Ah, uh, Lisa, can you handle my volume, or how do I do? That? I believe I've got it over here. Okay, wonderful. I could just speak louder right now. <laughs> just shout at us. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Uh, let us know if that's not loud enough. I could always use more volume. Okay, uh, and I can always get a little closer to the mic. Okay, so, um, so uh, yeah, so let's Ready? go ahead and dive in. Let's do it. Okay, so we have DIY and crafts. Yeah, I saw an awful lot of step-by-step, -step, right, the multiple image pins, which I think is pretty, pretty universal. Uh, but I also noticed some hand lettering. Something, yeah. yeah some like we have that lettering here, but I was thinking more even about like this. Um, dif different, pretty lettering. Yeah, Seem to be big absolutely. for some yeah. reason. Um, that's interesting. So, um, you think that's sort of an annual type? You think that's a trend, as in? Um, you know, it happened last year, or do you think that that's um, a, a July type? Right? I, th I, I think it was a last year thing. I know I jumped on it myself. <laughs> right. And that's one of the things that we kind of, I think we should be pulling out in this, is um, it's an opportunity for us to think about what is the equivalent to that. Mm -hmm. um, so what are these types of trends that we're seeing today that are mm -hmm. those kinds of trends last year? And do, yeah. you, do you have any idea on that for the DIY and craft? You know, I, I'm i not sure if it would fit in here exactly, but it's the closest thing I could think of would be flat lays. So flat lays are huge on blogs and huge on Instagram right now. People want to be able to create their own. So I, I have seen a lot of articles about that. I suspect they're going to show up here next year. At least I'm getting a, another message here, which is uh, I should go up in volume or you should come down. And what I'm, how about I try and take out these headphones and see if that's that. Uh, Okay. No, 
if things go crazy, uh, let me know. Okay. Uh, perhaps that, uh, let us know in the comments if that has uh, improved my interpreter sound, my volume. Uh, and if not, then we'll, we'll whack me up a little bit more. Okay. Uh, so you were saying flat lays. Anything flat else? lays. Um, as far as the corresponding to this year, I'm probably not as crafty as some pinners are. <laughs> so that was really the, the only one I could think of that's real big right now. Perhaps someone in the audience has, has something to suggest on that front. But I did see some outdoors kind of things going on here as well, which I think we saw this last month, which makes sense. Everyone's outside enjoying the weather. Request is to whack me up higher. Whack you up higher. Higher. Okay. Don't be chintzy on my volume. Okay, you are up as high as we can possibly go. You know, I'm really missing Nordstrom. <laughs> oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's as high as it can go. Okay. Um, so uh, I did notice there's a lot of outside stuff going on. Yes. Yep. We have the camping, fire pits. Stuck in a pond. Um, mm -hmm. We have a fire pit. Uh, and there's also, I think, a very summery palette. Yes, that's true. Um, sort of the reds and oranges and yellows. Um, and then there's specific things which are summer related. Yeah, I think throughout we're going to see a lot of fish themed items in all the boards, which is funny. Look, we have our little mermaid too. Right. Fruit um, is, is summer, summer themed as well. Um, yeah, so, so I would say that, oh, at least we're asking, they're asking for you to bring the old volume down. You are. I'll just step away a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is kind of a holdover from last month. We had a lot of messy projects last month. I think we're cleaning it up a bit in July, but <laughs> this glitter gack which I never heard of, but frankly, it looks like a lot of fun. They're right. showing up. I think I'm having a connection issue. Okay. I can do that. I think the problem is with my connection. So if you speak now, they can probably hear you. I had a red flashing light that I can't do anything about. All right. So DIY and crafts, let's move on to education. So what I, what I picked out, which made a lot of sense for this time of year really, is information for new teachers entering the job force and also people looking for a new job. So that, that made sense to me. Here it is, summertime, new graduates out, or maybe people thinking about the next year, do they really want to go back to the same job? And then, like we mentioned, a lot of kind of fish projects. And I, I think the colors are pretty summery too, like you mentioned before. A lot of primary colors as always, but then we have the more summery colors too. So what, what is trending now though this year is writing anchor charts. So the anchor charts being, uh, let's see if I can find one here. Mm. We have those big posters that say, here's how to listen, it will label eyes are open, um, ears are listening, mouth is quiet, just big like big posters to put in your classroom, which of course that makes sense too. You're planning for next year, how you want to improve your classroom. Uh, so that's what's going on this year. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. Yeah, there are a couple of different yoga pins, two right here together. Uh, but then, yeah, a lot of preparing for the next school year, too. Some fun projects. This one looks like fun. Another messy one. Shaving cream, mixing bag. Dancing worms. Yeah, so you're right. Things you can do at home, for sure. Fish in a bag of slime. Summer is a messy time on Pinterest, apparently. But it looks like fun. They can't hear you. Okay, so we had trends in food and drink. This one, this one surprised me, frankly, because I expected to see a lot more salads, a lot more grilling recipes, and what I saw was comfort food and junk food. Um, I shouldn't have been doing this at dinner time last night, but uh, then we had a few little things that made a lot more sense seasonally, like the summer sangria with watermelon and pineapple. Yes, please, that looks fabulous. But really, a lot more junk food than I expected. We have a little bit of an outlier here with the melon. But come on, chocolate peanut butter stuffed French toast. <laughs> that looks fabulous. So is that really what people want to pin right now? Did it take off in November? Hard to say, but it sure didn't hurt to be pinning it in July. Even though you'd think more things like these Greek lemon skewers with tzatziki sauce would do better. People still loved all that stuff. Hmm. <laughs> Please don't talk, David. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so there were a lot more decadent desserts this month than there were last month. Uh, but what is actually trending now, no surprise at all, is Fourth of July desserts. They're beautiful, they're colorful, they're fun, they make use of the seasonal fruits. So that makes sense that we could you could be pinning them now um, certainly makes sense to be to start early on that kind of thing but if you have something that you really want to get out this year and it's new you might want to think about promoting it um, what else is popular right now are easy desserts There's probably a lot of gatherings to go to this year graduation parties baby showers wedding showers easy desserts to bring with you so think about pinning those right now all right, we did that. So we also have holiday and events. I was kind of shocked to see how much Halloween was popping up in July. So much Halloween, so much fall stuff. But then we did have a couple of current things like pool party ideas. Overwhelmingly though, we're all thinking about fall in July apparently. I don't know, I, I like to put it off as long as I can, but Pinterest is a different world for sure. That looks like fun. Rice Krispies that shaped like a pumpkin. But of course, what's trending right this second would be 4th of July. So we had 4th of July games were trending right now. A lot of outdoor parties to plan, things to keep the kids busy. But inside, when you're on your phone, sitting on the couch, apparently you're pinning Halloween. So travel is always fun on Pinterest. This year, or this, this season anyway, we saw a lot of travel hacks for parents to keep their kids busy. And as David mentioned before, a lot of European travel ideas. Maybe Vietnam, winter in Paris, city coffee guard, guide. Iceland, well this would be a nice time of year to go to Iceland. Plus several Disneyland um, pins as well, which makes sense. Kids are on school break, good time to go. But what's popular at the moment is actually Thailand travel. All right. Beautiful. I'm seeing quite a few um, 
pins that aren't ideally shaped for Pinterest, which is interesting. This goes to show you that uh, if your information is good and the picture is beautiful, chances are it's going to do well, even if it's not perfect. Okay. When we get to weddings, still the, the outdoors and the barn weddings are very popular this year. A lot of boho feeling and a lot of blush colors. And this rustic look is huge. And I always look to see what is doing well as far as pictures of people. We know traditionally people pictures don't do so well on Pinterest. I think weddings are a little bit of an exception, but still look here. We have that the back of the head cut off at the chin. Side, side shot, back shot. So certainly beautiful to look at. Uh, what, what's popular right now as far as weddings? Um, I saw a lot of elopement pins, which you know maybe this time of year people are getting close to their actual wedding and thinking they <laughs> maybe they weren't weren't ready for this big wedding, wanted to just take off. Uh, Hawaiian elopement specifically. So I don't, that sounds good uh, on any occasion. Um, yeah. But also popular are wedding favors. So maybe getting close to wedding time, thinking about what to make for wedding favors. Those were those are big right now this year. So there's it's interesting too. A lot of the wedding photos don't seem to need that text on the image. Just the image kind of stands on its own. And again, faces don't usually do well on Pinterest, but this here where you're showing an idea of what you can do for your own wedding does really well. But as far as seasonally, I, I think it just it's it shows that trend towards the rustic and the blush colors. Outdoors as well, a lot of outdoors. Yeah, so that's what I picked up. Uh, we had another one for women's fashion, which this one really frankly surprised me because it was a huge mix of spring, summer, and fall. I didn't see any winter, but I kind of expected to see more fall. But people are still pinning for summer, which is good. A lot of bathing suits. And I keep seeing over and over again how to wear, like capsule outfits, um, how to dress up flip-flops. So people are really looking for ideas no matter what time of year. But this time of year they're looking for, oh, here's one about casual fall outfits. So maybe planning ahead a little bit. But still very interested in the rompers and the sandals. What, what is trending right now in fashion is Western wear. Yeah, even for summer, but a lot of turquoise. I think you're going to see a lot more turquoise coming up. Saw some kind of cute retro styles, which we saw last month as well. I didn't see quite as many this month as last. A lot of very casual looking outfits. Yeah, this one here, I love that. So we just pinned that a couple days ago and it's already been repinned retro look and another capsule wardrobe inspired by Belle yeah Beauty and the Beast if you want to dress like Belle from Beauty and the Beast here's how you do it that's kind of fun again a little bit of retro going on so that's that's what I noticed I noticed more than any kind of trend was a mixture of a little bit of everything in July. I'm not sure if that's kind of because we're right in the middle of a season, so people are, are pinning ahead, they're pinning for now. But that's what I picked up.
No question. Okay. Is anybody sharing what what they're seeing on Pinterest right now? Who? Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry about the technical issues. I, I can't turn your volume up anymore. Okay. So should we go through some other boards or what would you like to do? Yep, absolutely. So let me get back to our profile here. Okay. Here are our trend boards. As David had mentioned, they're, they're available from last October. So you can see kind of the yearly progression in what people are pinning that's doing well. So we had let's see, home decor. Where's that one? Here it is. And again, these are pins that people pinned last July that have had a huge number of repins since then. So just an idea of how we come up with these these ideas. Again, a lot of rustic. And I think that's continuing this year as well. Some ideas and whenever you have a DIY, it's always great to have multiple images on your pin. That looks cozy. Giant bird nest. A nice summary image here. Yeah, overwhelmingly we have the rustic look going on. Backyard decor. What's trending right now um, are container houses. I think that trend has been going on for a while as far as the small spaces on Pinterest. So it makes sense that next step would be making your whole house small. That fire pit, I think we saw this one last month as well. Everybody wants a fire pit, pins fire pits. I don't know if anyone actually makes them. <laughs> Would it be fun to have in July? Some nice summertime colors. Some beachy feel over here. Yeah. Love this idea. It's very pretty, pretty mixed with rustic. It's kind of a fun look. And I know uh, we didn't talk about kids and parenting, I don't think. Um, that one is where I saw a ton of fish projects. So everybody is in the mood for being on the water. Let's see if I can find that one. Science projects for kids. Moving to a new bed, the ocean layers. Frankly, I would like to do this project myself. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of that education in with our summertime fun. So they're out of school, they need something to do. The ocean, the fish. And quite a few travel tips as well. This is prime road trip season. Funny thing that I saw trending was adoption fundraising. So, um, yeah. what's that, Kevin? Kevin's more. Keep going. Oh, all right. Happy to. Okay. So if you're curious about where I'm getting these ideas on what's trending, I can show you that as well. Let's go into health and fitness. Okay, so painful bathing suit season. This month is all about the belly and booty. So, I mean, that would just jump right out at you. So everyone's feeling that pain. And they will always interest me that these do well because they're visually not that appealing, but they are incredibly useful when you have these workout plans to do. 
So surprisingly little about nutrition and health issues, much more about fitness this month, which I guess makes sense. You're probably going to see faster results if you start going to the gym and you've never been than if you start eating differently. Infused water combinations, great for summer when we have all our fresh cucumbers and raspberries and watermelons. So that's what I noticed about health and fitness. Um, but what I want to see, okay, well that was what we pinned last year that did well since then. So what is going on in health right now? Popular is interesting, but I was looking more at what is trending. Fit inspiration. I did see a little of that in our July trending board about some self care and not getting discouraged. But yeah, this is this is what Pinterest is telling us is trending right now, right this second. So if you have something like this, it might be a good time to promote it. And I think with all of them, when we see that something is doing well now or did well this time last year, you know, think about maybe you could pin that a couple months early uh, and then pin it again when it's current and promote it when it's current and a really good way to to get ahead of that so you don't have to wait and think oh I wish I'd done that two months ago is to download the Pinterest editorial calendar which Kevin will will put in the comments if he hasn't already it helps you stay ahead of the trends because even though the individual things like the brush lettering that might be very 2016 uh, flat lays may be 2017, but certain things are going to be consistent for the time of year. So right now uh, we're getting close to back to school season, which seems horrifying. <laughs> they just got out of school, but, but that's the way pinners are. They think way ahead. So to look at, at what is trending now, yeah, super helpful to pin again to promote but you're going to really want those early insights with something like the, the tailing calendar. So let's see what else we have. Back to our boards. Okay. No. Um, and unfortunately, Let's see if there's any option. We do have, we can look at what's what's going on today. So trending spa logo, that's a little bit niche, really. Um, but let's look at what's popular as opposed to trending. Okay. I always like these that tell you exactly how to do something from, not, no surprise, from PicMonkey. Okay. Inspiration. Lists. Lists are always good, especially in an infographic. So I would guess, and I know we don't have the, the boards on this, that it's probably fairly consistent month over month. There are going to be some trends like uh, the brush lettering is big, maybe the flat lays, but a lot of the ideas of this being, you know, like you make it, make it useful, make it appealing, tell people what they're going to get, or give it to them right in the infographic. That kind of thing is going to be consistent. I think we covered all of our trends boards. Yeah, so uh, were there any other questions or any observations? Flowers, I did pick up on some sunflowers, which are beautiful. I think most of the flowers you're gonna see are in, gonna be in the wedding category. 
And when I looked at what was trending in weddings, it was heavy on the floral arrangements. So let's see, let's look at July. Some tropical. Yeah, and again, a lot of the blush colors I saw for July down there. And succul succulents have been popping up all summer. Kind of a different look sort of fits in with that rustic feel people are going for, whether it's in home decor or weddings lately. No, we haven't covered garden. A lot of greenery there. So pretty. Yeah, now we're getting back into May. So fairly consistent um, as far as seasonal trends go. Suspect it's more of a of an overall trend here towards the lighter colors. Although back if we look back into December and January we'll probably see a lot more of the, the scarlet. Oh, what do I see for furniture trends? That would be in home. So let's look at what's going on now. A lot of what we saw in home for July, again, was that rustic barn look. And here we see it again, the modern farmhouse ideas are trending. And I remember from last month, the home section was very neutral in colors. Same same thing this year, this month. As far as pieces of furniture, that's not a separate category. So I'm just scrolling through to look for what's what's going on. But I think we're gonna we're gonna see that that style is gonna be very rustic. A lot of wood, and either just whitewashed or natural wood. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, very limited, very limited for pieces of furniture. Yeah, those look a little springy, springy flowers. And fairly neutral color palettes. And again, this, this is what's happening right now. Stoneware, let's see. more ideas in home. Always, we always go on Pinterest because we think we're going to get organized. Now whether we actually do or not is a different story, but those pins do well all the time. Got some nice beach colors here. Okay. Another. Did we see anything about yoga this month? All right. We saw kids yoga that was in the education. I, you know, there was a little bit in health and fitness for, for this month, um, for July, but not as much as there was last month. I remember last month was heavy on the yoga. This month is more about abs and glute workouts. <laughs> Probably because you, everyone had to put their bathing suit on for the first time. And again, the fit inspiration was a big, is a big trend right now what's being pinned. These are the latest pins in health. Not necessarily trending and certainly not as nice to look at as what's popular or trending. Yep. And again, if you, if you have a workout plan, people do love to pin those when they're right on an infographic. It'd be interesting to see how that translates to clicks through to your website, but it is a good way to get a lot of repins. Hmm. 
Uh, okay, so um, someone would like to know more about video pins because they've been seeing a lot more of those. Uh, I think we probably will because um, recently Canva came out with an option to export your images as a, as a GIF file uh, and use those as pins. It's a little surprising that you don't see more of those in the workout section. Uh, so let's see, we could do a, a workout. But as far as actual videos themselves, yeah, there's not a whole lot of information on how well those work. Um, I know a lot of people are excited for the promoted video, which will be coming out according to Pinterest on August 1st for everybody. And I do think those are going to be a game changer. So here we do have one. That makes sense, right? Show the video right here. And it's interesting, I was doing some research on Pinterest for weddings the other day and noticed that so many of the top pins had a lot of tried it on it. Now, I, I don't know if having a lot of people having tried it means that your pin will be seen more or if it just means that as a side effect of being seen more, they got a lot more people to say they tried it. But uh, something Pinterest said last week or so that, you know, they're they don't necessarily want people to stay on the Pinterest platform forever or for longer than they are already. They really want them to get out and do things. And having this tried it, and when you get positive tried it, it's an indication that people are actually doing what you pin, which is a positive signal to Pinterest, which makes me believe that even if it's not in the algorithm now, perhaps they're thinking about using it as a way to say this is a good pin. Yeah, and I know a lot of people are concerned about about um, spam tried it, and I have seen some, <laughs> especially they've been concerned about people um, unfairly saying they tried it and it was terrible. But most of the ones I see seem to be pretty real. So I don't know if there's any way they're going to be able to verify that people actually tried it, like having a verified review on Amazon. Uh, but if you can encourage people to to say they tried it. That might even be worth putting in your description. Um, great, more questions. Uh, I'm not sure I understand the question. So is there a trending period of time for work and life balance? Oh, okay. As a topic. It's not, um, it's not a specific interest. So, okay, let's see what we've got. Yeah, right, he, he would suspect people are stressed year round. I, I would agree with you. <laughs> but I do think that is a, a good topic to pin on. Um, when Pinterest thinks about having the specific interests, you know, they, they really want to become a shopping site. So having things that are more supportive of shopping type uh, businesses is kind of where they put their focus. So there isn't one for marketing, there isn't one for work-life balance, but I think it could really fit into health and fitness. And I didn't see a lot of that show up in health and fitness, but perhaps there just aren't a lot of great options to share. So definitely pin it. Whether there'll be live video on Pinterest um, I, uh, okay, just pure speculation. I don't think that's why people go on Pinterest. It's not social. Um, Pinterest doesn't even really care so much that we follow people anymore. They'd rather have us follow ideas and find new things. So I suspect it's not the place for a live video, but I have been wrong once or twice. <laughs> so it could be. What do you think, David? I'll tell him what you said. He agrees. <laughs> or he could have said something else, and I'm just telling you he agrees with me. But no, um, yeah, live video on Pinterest. I mean, they really are getting farther and further, further and further away from Pinterest being perceived as a social network. So we can't even like pins anymore. Um, and if you look at the comments on pins, it typically is pins that have been promoted, so people want to get in on that, that paid promotion, uh, leaving meaningless spammy comments. So 
really, I think the biggest social aspects of Pinterest are when you have a group board or if you use Tailwind Tribes so that you can uh, share each other's great content. That's where it's social. That's where you're supporting other people or collaborating with other people. But it's, it's so, so not like Facebook or Instagram where you get that kind of instant connection. Um, Pinterest is a place people go for themselves to plan uh, their own projects. They're not so interested in what someone else is doing in the moment. Um, so if you have that a kind of a video, maybe because what would do well on Pinterest as a live video would be how to paint your how to paint your bench in the rustic farmhouse style. But nobody wants to have to jump onto Pinterest at that moment to watch it, and it doesn't really make sense to make it something that you have to watch in the moment. So instead pinning that as a video or pinning it as an image that leads to a video on your site would be a lot more effective. All right. So let me come back to our faces so you can at least maybe you can lip read what David is saying. I apologize for the, the volume issues. Um, but we will be here again next month talking about what to pin in August. So thanks everybody for stopping by <laughs> and, and you're getting the thumbs up. All right. Bye everybody. <laughs>